one. Who's ready to vote in this election? Well, I see we've got a big sign up here with some really good advice. Some states are starting to vote. In fact, early voting began in Ohio today, and people started lining up last night. They couldn't wait. They couldn't wait to cast their ballots. And I think we could see a record turnout in this election. I want to thank Tracy Ellis Ross, an amazing actress, and I'm so proud to have her support. You know, there are so many important elections up and down the ballot. And I want to say a special word about Catherine Cortez Masto. She was a great attorney general for this state, and she will be a terrific senator. We need more leaders like her who will fight for working families, who will stand up to Donald Trump's bullying and bigotry. So let's send Catherine to Washington to support everything that we're going to be fighting for together. And while we're at it, let's send Dina Titus back to Washington. And please, let's elect Jackie Rosen and Ruben Kiewen. Now, I am not exaggerating when I say that your vote could make the difference in all of these races. Now, people always during elections tell you this is the most important election, and there's always something important about every election, but I don't think we've ever had an election more important for our country, for our values, for our future than this one. And yesterday I was in Florida with Al Gore, and him, your vote really, really counts. Remember what happened. Now, I had the best time campaigning here when I was here for the caucus, and I want to thank everybody who has worked for me, and I want to thank everybody who worked for my friend Bernie Sanders. I'm very proud that from the beginning, Senator Sanders and I, we ran a campaign focused on ideas and issues, not insults. We care about bringing people together, and we care about people respecting each other, having each other's backs, and then working to solve our problems. And that's what I'm going to do. Look, I know that this has been at times, a really negative race coming from the other side. I've done my best to stay above that, to stay focused on what really, really matters. Any of you, any of you see that last debate? Well, if you watch the debate, you know that I paraphrased my friend, our First Lady, Michelle Obama, because it was very clear on that debate stage, one of us went low and one of us went high. And I want to repeat something I said that night, because I want you to hear it and tell your friends Look, I want to be a president for all Americans, not some Americans. I want to be a president for people who agree with me and don't agree with me. I want to be a president for Democrats, Republicans, and independents. I want to bring a, be a president who brings our country together and tries to heal all these divides that are being set up between different Americans. And I appreciate everybody who is now focused on this election, trying to figure out how to vote. 
and so many Republican leaders and traditionally Republican-leaning newspapers have crossed the aisle to support me, and that means a great deal to me. Because, my friends, we've got to unite our country. Now, we're always going to have disagreements. There's no doubt about that. That's kind of in the DNA of being an American. But we got to get beyond those disagreements. We've got to be willing to roll up our sleeves and get to work with each other. And that means we have to be willing to listen to each other. And I know that probably some of you, maybe a lot of you, know somebody who's thinking about voting for Trump. It happens. I know that. My, my request is to stage an intervention. willing to play by the rules. There are still too many who are fighting to keep their profits and their privileges, so we're going to keep the tough rules on Wall Street. Donald wants to get rid of them. I want to make sure they work so Wall Street never wrecks Main Street again. We are going after companies like those that engaged in predatory practices that led to a lot of the foreclosures right here in Las Vegas during the Great Recession. <laughs> Donald Trump actually was rooting. He was rooting for the Great Recession because he said he could go in and make a lot of money buying people's homes. I don't know how you look in the mirror feeling like that. I don't understand how you can root for people to be miserable. Well, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. And I'm going to impose even tougher rules. Now, when companies try to outsource jobs, we're going to make them give back any tax breaks they ever got from any level of government. And if they try to leave our country without paying their fair share of taxes, we're going to slap an exit tax on them because I'm tired of them picking up and leaving and taking jobs with them. I think it's important that we do everything we can to make sure that our health care system works and that families, middle class and working families, have the resources they need to take care of their kids. That's why I have said we need to double the child tax credit. It currently gives middle class families $1,000 per child. I want to double that because I know it's expensive. It's expensive to take care of little kids and you ought to have some help. And this will lift families out of poverty and it will prevent other families from going into poverty in the first place. I am all for people working. I am a person who grew up with a strong work ethic from my parents. I want people working. But we got to make sure that the work they do is rewarded enough that they can get ahead and take care of their kids. That's how it's supposed to start. And that's what we have to make happen here in America. Now, there's something you all can do in order for us to be able to work on and accomplish everything I've said. And, you know, you can go to my website if there's an issue you're concerned about. It's probably already on there. Tim Kaine and I did a, a book together called Stronger Together to make sure you knew what our agenda was. I see one waving there in the audience because I have this old fashioned idea. I don't want to just spout words and try to create rhetoric. I want you to know what I will try to do as your president because I need your help and your partnership. If we're going to raise incomes, then we got to make sure we've got people in Congress who are going to help us raise incomes. And that's why I'm asking you not only to support me in this election, but Catherine and Dina and Jackie and Ruben, all of us who are on the ballot. And think, think about any issue you care about 
and imagine it being on the ballot, because in effect it is. There's never been an election where there's such a difference between the two candidates. I have to tell you, with prior Republican nominees, I might have had disagreements with policies or principles, but I never questioned any of their fitness to serve. Donald Trump is different. He is unqualified and unfit to be president and commander in chief. So I understand why they're upset. But remember, this Tuesday, October 18th, is the last day you can register to vote here in Nevada. So please register to vote. Find out if you're registered correctly. You can go to a website called IWillVote.com. Because if you believe in any of the issues that we care about and that we're working on and the kind of country we can make together, I need you to do everything you can between now and November 8th to register and then to turn out and vote to make sure your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues are registered to vote. Tell them to go to IWillVote.com and make sure that we get everybody to turn out. You know, a little bit ago I said if you've got friends who are thinking about voting for Trump, you know, stage an intervention. Well, I think it is a serious concern because friends don't let friends vote for Trump. And you know, I, I, really, I really have thought a lot about our country and I happen to think America is already great, but we have to do our work to make sure it stays great and gets even greater. And I know how important it is that we stay focused on the concerns that people have, not on the demagoguery and the distraction, but what is it we're going to do together? And like I said, I really believe that we need to come together as a country. And I am committed to doing everything I can every single day, if I'm so fortunate enough to be in the White House, to help all of you to get as far as your hard work and your talents will take you. Because we want to prove to the world something that I believe in, that we are the place of freedom and opportunity, of justice, of equality, the best place in the entire world to live and to work, to raise a family. We should never take that for granted by one second. It is our obligation as Americans to dig deep in doing whatever we can to build the kind of future that we want for ourselves and our children. I now have two grandchildren. And it is the joy of my life. But I'll tell you this, I don't want just my grandchildren to succeed. I want everybody's children to succeed. And I want to be sure that when they grow up, our country is still the engine of opportunity with the values that made us great in the first place and that the world is peaceful and prosperous so that they can make the choices that they wish to make to chart their own futures. That's what we believe in here in America, and that is exactly what is on the ballot this election. So my friends, come join me in helping to build a future that will